Then I also picked up the color Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a haul, and I feel like I haven't done a haul in forever, so I wanted to do one today. I told you guys in my monthly favorites I would do a little bit of birthday shopping, and I went to Atlanta to stay with Casey last weekend, so I'm going to show you things I got with her, and then some things I've gotten over the past few weeks, just like little trips here and there, but first and foremost, thank you guys so much for all of the birthday wishes. Literally, I was blown away. I didn't really expect anyone to care that much about my birthday. I was like, oh, you know, I'm excited, but I didn't really think much about it, but you guys were so sweet and made my day so special, and I just felt really loved, so thank you for that. You guys are the best, and I love you so much, so thank you again, and let's go ahead and get started into the haul. It's pretty much all beauty with a few random things, so let's start with Sephora. Does that sound good? Okay. So why not start off with lipstick? I mentioned these in my August favorites and I have four of the new NARS Audacious lipsticks which are out of this world. I'm wearing one right now. The one that I'm wearing right now is called Olivia and like I said in my favorites, it's this really rich heavy metal packaging, magnetic closure, which is just, it's just beautiful. And this is the color I'm wearing on my lips right now with Night Moth from MAC. This is called Olivia. I also got the color Annabella. I got this one with Casey. And this is just a really vibrant red. I swatched it next to other reds in Sephora and I was just like, I, I just gotta have it. It's just one of those reds where it catches your eye. It's like in between a Lady Danger and Ruby Woo from MAC. It's like right in the middle and I don't think I have anything quite this color so this one is Annabella and then I also have my two more neutral shades that I picked up from the line first is Anna and this is the one that I raved about and I can't stop wearing and this is like one of those Kylie Jenner rosy mauve colors like look how much I've already used I love this color so that one is Anna then the last one I picked up I've worn once I wore it on my actual birthday and this is called Raquel and this is like a peachy nude. When I swatched it out my hand in the store, I was like, oh, it's going to be too light. So I swatched it with a nude liner in the store, and it was perfect. This is just oh, it's so, so beautiful. This is like one of those everyday nudes for me. So this one is Raquel. I wish I could have all the colors in the line. I mean, these lipsticks are amazing. So if you're looking for something to treat yourself, definitely try out the new NARS Audacious Lipstick. Most of the things I'm going to show you I already took out of the package, so it's easier to show you on camera, or I've already used them. But this one isn't. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I use the shade Custard. I picked up another one because mine's like almost out. This has become like my favorite concealer. I'm wearing it today. I also picked up the new Becca Highlighter in the shade Rose Gold because I love opal and they're so creamy and when I swatched this in the store I was like yeah I'm gonna have to get this because it looked so beautiful in the lights like in Sephora but Sephora lighting makes everything look amazing because now that I'm home it's so much more pink it's so much darker and I have it on my cheekbones but I had to put a little bit of heat wave which is a gold from Estee Lauder I put a little bit of that on top because I'm not really loving it yet. I don't know if it's because I'm too tan, if I need to like let my natural skin tone come in, but it's just like not doing it for me like I thought it would. I'm more of a gold highlight person, so I feel like I was piling this on and it kind of made my cheeks look a little bit dirty, so I'm going to keep playing with this because I love Becca's highlighters and this one looks gorgeous in the pan and gorgeous swatch. I also picked up some of the new Micro Mini Beauty Blenders a few weeks ago. They come with two, but my other one's already dirty, so it's sitting with my other brushes and stuff. I really like it for concealer because it gets in that inner corner really well. I just have been getting kind of lazy, so if I'm using my Beauty Blender for foundation, I just go ahead and use the other end for the concealer. I also picked up the new YSL Fusion Ink Foundation. I've been trying a sample the past few weeks and I really liked it so I was like I'm just gonna go ahead and take the plunge because this is a foundation like no other that I have ever tried. It is so incredibly smooth on the skin and lightweight. These do oxidize on your skin so I recommend swatching them on your neck or on your hand in the store and seeing what color they change after they dry because one color on my hand would look like pink, and then on Casey's hand, it would look like completely different. So these did change on my skin. I got the color Warm Honey number 50. So this is my tan shade, and I'm wearing it. And I would use a beauty blender with this because it's just so thin, and I feel like a brush soaks up too much of this product, and it kind of slips and slides. 
but it keeps me matte and it feels so good on the skin. If you guys want a full demo and review, let me know in the comments and I'll try to get that up. Next, I have some nail polish. And I never show nail polish on my channel. I used to always get my nails done, so I never knew what colors they were. But I've been doing my nails a lot myself lately. So first, I picked up a few of the Formula X nail polishes from Sephora. I love these. I don't really know what took me so long to get into them, but they look like gel nail polish on your nails and they last and they don't chip. This color I think I was wearing a few videos back. This one is called Flashy and it's an orangey red, but it's more like on the red side. I thought it was really pretty for fall. Then I picked up this berry color called Riotus and I'm not into purples, but I love like berries and this has like the perfect amount of pink in it. So Riotus and then my favorite color I picked up is this mauve nude go figure and this one is called impeccable and this was the first one I bought and after I'd worn it for two weeks I was like I've got to go pick up more so this one is impeccable then I have two NARS polishes to show you these are actually sent to me but I wanted to show them because I've never tried NARS nail polishes before and I think these are part of like their new fall collection because I think I saw them on a little gondola like at Sephora when we were leaving but this one is this really dark pewter gray and it's called Obscura. And then I also got this Libertango, which is a gorgeous pumpkin orange color. I can't wait to wear this. So let me know if you guys have tried NARS nail polishes. What do you think? Then I picked up two things from MAC. First is a lip liner. This is in the color Whirl. I bought this specifically for that Anna lipstick from NARS because it's like a mauve pink color. I've been loving them together. Then I also had to pick up something I already have but lost. And this is the Pro Longwear Lip Gloss in the color Patience Please. It's a baby milky pink. It lasts all day. I love this lip gloss. And I used to wear it all the time. And I went to wear it in one of my videos and I was like where is it I couldn't find it I don't know where it is so I don't know how I lose stuff like that like I'm so organized when it comes to my makeup and maybe someone stole it I don't know I can't find it so this is patience please so when Casey and I were walking out of Bloomingdale's I saw a Joe Malone sign and I was like Joe Malone I feel like I've heard a lot about them so I was like let's go over there and look so they're a fragrance line and they have like lotions and perfumes and so we started smelling and all of a sudden Casey picks up this body butter and she was like look it's peony your favorite flower and I was like okay let's smell it I picked it up. So Jo Malone is really expensive. I didn't know how expensive it was, but it comes in a beautiful box. They had like a black ribbon and they tied a ribbon on the bag. Like the packaging was really extravagant and they took their time. I felt like I was buying a designer purse or something. So I got the Peony and Blush Suede Body Cream and they kind of sold me on there's vitamin E in it, so it's healing. This is the most luxurious body cream I had ever seen or smelt in my life. They also had a rose one that smelled really good but it wasn't quite as good as the peony and it's so thick but yet it sinks right into the skin like my skin just drinks this up and you need a very little bit and it goes a long way I've been wearing it every single day now this is expensive this was $75 and I was like ooh, I was like oh it's my birthday I'm gonna go ahead and treat myself and so far, it's completely worth it. I also picked up a few things from Lush. There's not one near me, so I always go and pick up some new stuff or replenish stuff whenever I do get to go to one. First, I picked up my favorite bath bomb, and this is Twilight. Looks like these, and it smells amazing. It has like lavender in it and it's very soothing. So if you have insomnia, it's hard to sleep like I do. I always have trouble sleeping at night unless it's super late. I will pop this in the bath and take like a nice bath before I go to bed. And it's just like, oh, like it's so relaxing and it turns your bath pink, which, uh, hello, that's so fun. Then I got this bath bar called Yuzu and Coco, I think. And it looks like this. Oh, it smells so good. This is supposed to be like Japanese fruit inspired. I think it's like the yuzu fruit, if I'm saying that right. So it's like a chocolatey orange, but I don't really smell the chocolate. Like it just smells like a really good citrus smell to me, almost like a mango and orange. And I can't wait to use this. It's supposed to make your bath really soothing and just make your skin really soft. So got that one. Then last, I got another bath bar. This is called Pop in the Bath, I think, and it's like inspired by like Mary Poppins, I think, because I looked this up online because I couldn't remember the names of all these. And this again, oh, smells so fresh and clean. It has lemon in it. 
it smells so good and again it's just supposed to make your bath water very soothing make your skin very soft and I don't take baths a lot I'm more of a shower person but I do like to take at least like one bath a week just to relax and just like you know de-stress. Next are a pair of shoes. I've been wanting a new pair of training shoes for the gym. I work out with a personal trainer a few days a week and then I also go to the gym and so I like to look good. Like when you feel good about your gym outfit it just kind of like gives you motivation to go so I found these Nike shoes and I was like they're kind of weird and they're kind of cool so I'm totally gonna get them. So they're these Nike Free 5.0s. They are just so cool, like, I don't know, I really like them. I feel like I don't wear a whole lot of color when I work out, so this can be kind of like my pop of color, and they're like always going to stand out. They're just like pink and orange, and I don't know, I thought they were cute. So if I can find the exact ones, I'll link them down below. So I wanted to save the best for last, and this is a gift from Casey Holmes. If you don't know her, she's my best friend and has amazing beauty videos, and I want to stay with her, like I've said a million times this past weekend. So when I got there, I didn't expect her to get me anything and I told her I was like you really don't have to get me anything what Casey got me I still can't believe and like I want to cry right now I almost cried there but I was like so excited and it was just like a huge mix of emotions but she got me a GoPro and this amazing little stand for it and she went all out like she made this weekend amazing and you're my best friend Casey I love you if you're watching this I'm sorry I'm getting sappy but she is honestly like so sweet so compassionate and just like so supportive and you know I've had really bad friends in the past so it's just so refreshing to have like someone who's always there for you and we've been through a lot together so thank you so much I love it if you haven't subscribed to Casey go do it I'll link her channel down below also I'll link my vlog channel where you will see me use this little bad boy I'm going to tomorrow world in a few weeks and then also New York next week so I'm gonna try to vlog those trips and then also some like daily stuff here and there so I hope you guys enjoyed this haul and found some new things to try thank you so much for your support and for watching I love you and I'll see you in my next video